Hey Knights, how's everybody doing? My favorite part of the day. So I'm just sitting here, it's fucking storming like a fuck. I'm just getting the uh, snow melted off and just kind of hanging out before the grocery store. I got some stuff I want to pick up. I heard this thing on uh, about uh, taking coconut oil and uh, baking soda for whitening your teeth, so I'm going to try that. So, uh, Reason for the video. Um, I want to discuss lightweights or uh, and heavyweights as it applies to uh, uh, building mass. This is uh, very controversial. There's pros and cons to both. Um, as far as lightweight for mass, it's been done. There's bodybuilders have done, have, have made that happen. Um, it's something that I want to find out for myself. Uh, later down when I uh, start uh, focusing on uh, building mass, I'm going to try that, and uh, and I'll give you the res I'll give you my opinion of that. Um, as for now, you know. Um, in my experience, you know, you need heavy weights. You need to fail between 6 and 10, 6 and 8. And then once you heat, heat, reach 8 to 10 reps and you throw more weight on and start at 6 again, you know. From my personal experience, that's how I put on the most size. So uh, as far as lightweight to build mass, you know, and higher reps, uh, like I said, there's been people who have... Uh, who have achieved that and but I couldn't tell you from personal experience so what would my advice be if you're looking to put on just straight mass as far as working out you know I already talked to you guys that I put on mass for uh, when it comes to diet it will really depend on you know you know having a training partner really factors into that though because if you have a training partner you can handle more weight, you can do force reps, you know, so if you're just at by yourself, which is pretty much what this program is designed for, my recommendation would be is to uh, make sure, uh, incorporate two, two of them, the two of them, because I don't want to see you guys getting fucking injured, you know, it really fucking sucks when you get injured with heavy weights. You know, so my recommendation for now, until I tell you guys otherwise, you know, because I want to experiment with this later down the line, and you, I'll do a video, you know, maybe a year from now about that. But I would say for now, incorporate both if if you uh, just want a peace of mind about it. Now, if you have a training partner, by all means, you know, hit that heavy weight, just properly warm up, but you know, hit the heavy weight. But if you're by yourself, try and incorporate too. So if you're uh, Doing, let's say, uh, you know, uh, seven sets for chest. You know, do three, three warm ups. Which I mean by warm up is do three from ten, uh, uh, ten to fifteen to fair, like we normally do in, in this program. And then your your next four sets, I would uh, do from six, six to eight heavy weights. You know, and that's the best advice I can possibly give you until I prove to myself before I say something. You know, I don't want to see something that I don't know for that is fact for sure. Because I want to be credible for you guys. So, I think that's all I wanted to fucking mention. That's a good fucking cigarette, I'll tell you that right fucking now. Very good cigarette. I don't know what this weather is fucking up my reception, so I don't know if this is going through or not. I did another video for YouTube earlier. I don't know if that's going to go through, but uh, if it didn't, so I'll, uh, I'll revisit this. For sure. Uh, what a day yesterday. Holy fuck, what a day yesterday. Oh, I was so fucking tired. I was so tired. But we got through it, you know? So. Anyways, I'm going to get my ass to the grocery store. And uh, hopefully I won't have to redo this video, but have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourself. Be good to each other. 
God bless you all.